everything I show you here with video files can also be done with voiceovers or voice notes that are in your videos. Quick warning, before you do anything, make sure you've expanded the clips fully to the max so that you can see the sound waves. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so you go to the parts where the sound wave seems to be non-existent. Basically, the whole thing is flatlined and that's where you know there is silence. You just go through your entire video, make sure you just go to these parts and cut them out. So that small little sound wave you see there, I know that's like me smacking or something like that. I just cut that out. It's to the point where I can realize what like, for instance, smacking sounds, how that wave looks like and I cut it out. But if you're not sure and you can see there, I'm trying to point to that yeah, this, the time is actually reducing. Don't click out of this video because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this and then how to make sure that everything is Gucci and that your speech is flowing normally. Just removing all the ums and ahs can really, really add up even 0.1 second if you remove a lot of them. Honestly, this video was 17 minutes long and I managed to get it to 11 minutes. I think that's a big difference because that is six minutes of people's time that you are totally wasting by blabbing or just having silence for no apparent reason. Like there's so many videos to watch on YouTube these days, like nobody has time to be watching very, very long videos. And sometimes if I can't be bothered to do all this because I'm showing this in like speed, but re in reality this took a long time to do. Um, yeah, sometimes I leave it in and then sometimes I have longer videos, but if not, I just keep it short and sweet. So this is me showing this a bit slower. So like I said, anywhere where you can't see any sound waves or the sound waves are like, see, we're at 12 minutes now already, where the sound waves are like a bit like flat line kind of thing, you can just cut that out. So now you can see it with the video on a bigger, in a bigger format. And so you can even tell from my, my lips and me speaking, um, you know, whether I'm saying something or not. The only issue with this is that I was also recording uh, my mom on the phone she was also part of the video so obviously sometimes you wouldn't see me speak but then she would be speaking so there would be a sound wave so then you can just go through you know how i've been editing it so they've all the whole video is like cut into small clips so you can just kind of go through small clips and see if it's just like a hmm or a <laughs> smack kind of sound or a hmm kind of sound because those things can just be deleted it's not very important and let me tell you so many of those sounds they really do add up and make your video super duper long so this is another view for you guys keep the dial all the way to the left the, that dial thing and then your video is chopped up into little pieces like i was talking about earlier and you can just go through every single piece and kind of just listen to what it sounds like so like i'm going to show you a part where i go through a certain sound just to make sure that sound wave is not useless so there delete bah. so yeah that's how you do it it's very simple. Within three minutes, you've learned how to edit your videos in no time. Um, correction, actually, it does still take a lot of time. Actually, it takes more time because you're being very meticulous. You're literally removing every single mm and ah and silence that is not necessary. And sometimes you need to leave that in there though because it adds something to the video. But if you don't want to do that, you want your video to be super crisp and want everything to flow and just don't want people to spend forever in a day watching your videos and want your videos to be shorter, this is a very, 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 very simplistic and foolproof way to do it. At the end of it though, you do need to go through your video because in uh, one of my videos, a chicken sandwich video, I did this and then it became very blocky and it didn't always flow very well and I ended up losing some of the sound that I actually would have loved to keep in there. But yeah, if you're looking for a way to do this, this is it. Just make sure whenever you cut something, you go, you go back a bit and let it play a bit a few seconds before to make sure that your sentences are still kind of flowing and that it's not super blocky. If you like this video, tap the like button, hit bump, stomp, as song, the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell whilst you're at it. I'll see you in the next one, but in the meantime, share this video with everybody you know, make time for glorious life. God bless. And yes, this is also how I edited this voiceover. See? No secrets here. <laughs> Bye.